On a day when Mexican authorities presented half a dozen alleged members of a new and dangerous drug cartel known as La Familia or the Family as a show of cross-border cooperation, authorities in Washington announced the largest single strike at Mexican drug operations in the U.S. In the last two days, federal authorities say they have arrested more than 300 people in nearly 38 U.S. cities from coast to coast. This is a national initiative because the problem is not just along the southwest border, it is all over our country now. At least 25 people were arrested in California. Authorities also seized nearly two dozen weapons, more than 150 pounds of methamphetamine, and more than $110,000 in cash. If you look at what happened across this country, you know, um, yesterday, it, it, it's going to have an impact on how these folks operate down there. U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder says almost 1,200 people have been arrested during the course of the 44-month sting operation. He also pledged to keep up the fight. To the extent that they do grow back, I think we have to work with our Mexican counterparts to really cut off the heads of these snakes and get at the, uh, the heads of the cartels. Until recently, La Familia hasn't been considered as big a threat as a handful of other Mexican gangs that control the flow of drugs into the U.S. But authorities now see it as the biggest supplier of methamphetamine to the U.S. and increasingly a peddler of drugs like cocaine and marijuana. It's also known to be unusually violent, even by Mexican standards. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.